Hi there. Um, I'm here with a fun new series. It's going to be the super simple Halloween version. Um, I'm using the same templates as I did with the other ones that I have made. And so they're going to come together really quick, hopefully for you guys, and um, really easy. So if it seems familiar, that's why. But I'm going to go ahead and on this video I will be showing you how to put things together and I've linked another video below that will show you just the quick um, flip through. And so if that's more your style you can just go to the quick flip through but if you want to see how it all comes together this is where you want to be. So I printed everything in this on cardstock and I've cut everything out, inked everything out and I've sewn on some things too but I'm just going to be gluing those uh, pieces together so you can see how it comes together. So I have these three pieces and I'm gonna show you how to create the base of your folder. Now notice over on this end, I have this cut. I did that with a hole punch. Um, you are not gonna be doing that by hand. <laughs> that would not be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really put down a nice thick layer of my awesome scotch permanent glue stick and this piece is going to go directly on top of that like so um and you'll notice it hangs over the midline and i'll show you why it's just so we could have a, a fold there that didn't have a white paper shining through so there's the midline, oh, and it overlaps, and that's okay. If we need to trim that later, we can, so no worries. So I'm just gonna give that a nice, good fold, a really nice fold. And that piece is on, and I got some glue on here, but that's also okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and glue this piece, which folds this direction. So here's this one, I'll just show you where we're folding. And then this one folded in half, pretty sides out, and it's gonna come and I'm gonna glue it right in here. So that is our next step. Um, and this is my new favorite glue stick. I really just like this Scotch Permanent. It is just good quality. So if you're looking for a good one and starting to get, and just getting started and you haven't found one that you love, I really like the scotch. I don't get anything from them or anything like that. I just, I really like it. All right. So I'm going to kind of make sure everything folds and there's room for those seams to open and close. And that looks awesome. We're going to go ahead and trim that off just because that is enough that it's going to drive me nuts. Sometimes if it's just a little bit, I can go ahead and just ink it and I'm happy with it. But when I fit, when it's a little more, I just come in with my scissors real quick and just gently trim. There. Okay. So now you have this kind of accordion piece. And how this is going to work in your journal, let me grab a sample page. All right. So if you have a journal page, here's your journal page. How this is going to work is it's going to come right in here. And this side will be one thing. And then when you flip open the journal, you'll have this other piece on this side. So hopefully that makes sense. Oh, I'm gonna need to trim some more. That's okay. Apparently I did not get that perfectly centered. That is okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start decorating this. I'm just gonna work through it. On this page where I did this, which you do not have to do, um, all I have is a fun little journaling card right here. You could make this a pocket if you wanted. Let me get that out. Um, but you do not have to, of course. This one I didn't. The other one that I'm going to put on here in just a minute, I did. So you'll be able to see the difference. But this is just a journaling card um, with some fun little Halloween vibes. And you could just use the glue stick for that too. I just used this because it was right there. And why not? And then I have just a fun little saying to go with this one. You can switch it up, do something else. You could put some 
lace or something fun here. Let's see, where do I want this? I think I want it right there. Yep. That's where I wanted it. All right. So the next is I'm just going to open this. And remember, this is the part that's glued on your other page. So I'm gonna show you now how to do the little pocket. I did some stitching up on this. That's not on the kit, just so you know, but I just wanted to have something kind of messy and scary. So I'm gonna keep this one a pocket. So I'm just coming down these three sides and that's gonna go right about here. And I have another little word phrase right there that I'm going to stick right here. Um, and if you want, you can add something. I'm going to go ahead and try to just add some lace along this side and see how we like that. But I think it'll be cute. My lace got kind of squished. That's okay. I want it to hang over the edge a little bit, but not too much. Let's see how we did. Perfect. Yep, that'll be enough. Just to give it a little something and not be overly loud. So, then I'm gonna go ahead and trim that lace down. You don't have to. You could leave it. Sometimes I like to leave them hanging over the edge. I think it's a fun effect, but just up to you. You could do some, oh, cheese cloth. I have some somewhere. I think my daughter stole it and took it to college. Some coffee dyed cheese cloth. Okay, so we have those two pockets done. Now we're gonna flip this over and on the back is our, oh, do you know what? I forgot, we gotta put our things in our pocket. So I just have, that might be too small. Oh, I know, I want this to go on the card. And I just want this to be a journaling card that opens. So which side do I want? Oh, I like that spider web, but I like the red. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on this side and this will be just a quick little journaling card. You could um, close this and just make it a cute little tag, you know, cause I'm gonna leave it so this flaps open, but you could just glue it closed and have a nice chunky tag. That would be cute too. I wanted to show as much of that red off as I can. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And then that is, did I glue that shut? Oh, wrong one, <laughs> scared me. It wouldn't be the first time. And there is a fun little tag to pull out. Okay, now we're gonna open this side and let me grab the pile that goes with this. There's lots of goodies that are gonna happen here, so. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> All right, first thing, we have this cute little pocket. I did sew, you can see right here, I sewed um, all around the edges on this one. And I love this. I love this cute, like it's this pretty design, but then it has this overlay on it that kind of gives it this creepy texture. So it's, I love it. I love how this one came together. Love, love, love. All right, I have this cute little definition and I'm gonna make that into another teensy tiny little pocket. And that will come hereabouts. And I want this little tiny number. Let me show you the number, just a little number. I want that guy to come under my little pockets. So I gotta, there we go. Perfection. All right, and then I just have a couple of little goodies. You could find other ones or whatever to just tuck in the pocket. It just adds interest. It just makes it fun. All right, now this is going to become a tag that goes, oh golly, I just realized I glued something down I shouldn't. I'll explain later. Okay, so this is going to be a cute little tag that's going to come right in here. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and glue that double-sided tag shut. So it can be a little confusing because it comes looking like this and you just fold an ink on all the sides. You're gonna fold those two sides together and then this one's gonna come up for the pocket. And then you have a tag that's cute on both sides. 
So all I need to do is glue up the sides on this. Um, you could sew as well. Just be aware it'll go through onto the other side of your tag too. So if you don't want that, don't do it. All right. Um, while that dries, I kind of wanted to put a cute little eyelet in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And by a cute little, I mean rather large. <laughs> Squish that down. I wanted to do some sorry silk. And I, I had cream colored, um, so I kind of just grunged it up with ink just to give it that kind of, you know. We're going for Halloween here. So I kind of grunged it up a little bit and you can mess around with that and get it to fluff open, but you can see where I've kind of stained it a little bit. So I'm gonna cut these a little shorter I don't usually like them that long, but. All right, and then I have this cute little dangle that I'm gonna hang from there. I'll have to do that later because I forgot to get out a bold pin to put it on, but I'll grab one in a second and put that on. Um, and so in that little pocket right there, I just have a couple of little goodies that come in the kit that can go right up in there. And if you wanted, like I have a couple other, we could do this little happy Halloween guy right here. That'd be cute. You can trim it down. I'm gonna put a little happy Halloween sign, but I'm gonna trim it down a little bit first so it's not hanging way off the edge. But I didn't want something super bulky there just cause it's getting tucked, tucked in another tuck. But that's cute. Oh, I have this little extra goodie too in the kit. Maybe I'll add him in there too. Just layering it in. All right, so that is going to go in that cute little pocket there. All right, now the last part we need to add is the part when I was saying, oh no, I shouldn't have glued that down. I think we're gonna be okay. I can squeeze it up and get it in because this fun little pocket, let me get all the goodies out. This fun little pocket is actually going to become a flap right here. So I need to be able to tuck that underneath there. Do you see what I mean? See why I shouldn't have quite glued that down yet? Let me kind of peel it up. Oh yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Hooray. Okay, so this is how this piece comes in the kit. It will look like this. Kind of confusing but you're gonna fold it right here. So you'll be able to use this as your guide. So you fold it along there and then fold it along there. And that way when you cut, when you push this in half, then it's gonna be pretty on all the sides. So that was the goal was we just want, we want everything to be pretty. Ooh, my husband just got home from work. <laughs> you might just get to hear him on video. All right, here we go. So we glue that down. This piece becomes a flap for here, like so. And that way you don't take up space in your pocket. And you'll see if it's hanging over the edge there, you can trim it off if, if it bugs you. And then this piece is going to be the flap under here. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of my heavy duty art glitter glue. And I'm gonna put a little extra under there too because I've torn that up a little bit. So we wanna re-glue that down. All right. And then I'm gonna stuff this under here. Put everything in place and just make sure everything still shuts the way I want. Yep, looks good. And that's gonna need a second to dry now that I've peeled it up. But so now you have this cute little flap that kind of opens and closes both directions, so super fun. All right, on the front of this, I have a definition card and 
Is that where I wanted to put that one? I can't remember. Let's see. I know this goes in here. Nope. This goes here. I know this goes in here. There we go. Just a fun little ephemera. And then this piece goes on the back of here with the word definition. That's right. You can do it however you want. This was just how I prepped it. So I'm trying to stick to the plan. It doesn't have to always be that way, so don't stress it too much. All right, we have that. And then I have this little word sign that I sewed around the edges just for fun. And that's gonna come right here in the corner. And then this I left blank. You could put a picture or some journaling, whatever, whatever you want. And then we have the big chunky card. Um, and it is going to just be glued together. I don't think anything else happens to it. Yep, easy peasy. And um, you could add a cute little eyelet up top or some lace. Why don't we add a little bit of lace? That would be cute. Just like a teeny little bit that becomes a tab for the card. Sorry if I'm not staying on camera, I'm trying. There we go. And this art glitter glue dries pretty quick, so it's kind of a nice one that way. I like um, the opposition, I guess, of the creepy Halloween stuff with this like soft, beautiful lace. It's kind of adds to the creepiness of it. Kind of fun. All right. So that little guy is going to go in there. If you want, you could leave that in front so you see that little skull popping out, whatever you like. And then I'm going to turn this little piece into a tiny pocket for the front of this little flap pocket. It's a pocket on a pocket. <laughs> That's going to go here. And then this is cool. It's nightshade. So I thought that was kind of creepy and fun, fun for the theme. And then um, this is just a little skull circle that I wanted to put on here. You could do some lace or some, mm, that coffee dyed cheesecloth would look awesome in there. Um, just whatever you want. But um, I used... I want to say it's my inch and a half punch. Let me double check. Yeah. No, nope, that looks like inch and three quarter. Somewhere in there. Inch and a half, inch and three quarter between there. To just punch that out. But there's extra black around it if it's a little bit bigger. So anyway, it's just, you can cut it out, but it's so much easier if you can punch it out. You know what I mean. All right, I'm trying to get glue on here, but without getting glue, the places I don't want it. So that should hold it fine. You can leave that hanging off the edge if you want a little. If it bugs you to see that white, just slide it over a little bit extra, no biggie. Okay, so I feel like I might have put one of my journaling cards in the wrong location. Let's see. There's one. There's the other. I guess we're fine. Um, you can, on the other version I did, I put one of the journaling cards here. And you can also do it here instead if you want to leave that for like a photo mat because I just love this paper. So just keep in mind you can rearrange where those things get placed within the journal. Um, I need to glue that little edge down right there. That's a heads up for you. When you put this little flap pocket in, don't forget to get this guy right here. So that becomes a pocket. Let me do that for you so you can see it on camera. But there you go. Now that'll actually be a pocket and not open for you. So <laughs> hooray. All right, anyway, so that's kind of how it all comes together. And let me one more time just show you how that's going to work in your journal. 
because it will go over the edge of a page. So if this is the edge of your page, it will come over it and you will glue it into your journal using this white side. That whole thing will be glued down into your journal. And then you'll have this fun journaling spot on that page. And when you flip the page, you have a photo mat, a spot for some journaling, some cute cards and a flappy pocket. And you have this other piece as well. So anyway, get creative with it, switch things around where you want them, add some of your extra embellishments and just have fun with it. So there it is. Enjoy. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.